Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to uh, Gran Tur a little Gran Turismo 7. Um, so, I just want to tell you guys, I finished the game. So, um, I just will. I just want to show you guys my the proof that I've that I've beaten it. So this is the World Touring Car Championship. Um, so the World GT Series. Um, I've won all the races, and as you guys see at the top right corner of the company, I've come in first. So, so yeah, so I've won every championship. Um, so. as you see 40 41 I have a bunch of I have a bunch of um cool this is Neo Classic Challenge and stuff like that so so this is Neo Classic Challenge and you can see what you need um I have that and stuff like that. This is the Silver Sisters. The historic championships. Um, I actually have one of those. These are extra menus I can I can get for certain ones so um, I've already completed those so I'm in the after game so so Corvette will be one of so Corvette will be one of them um, the Solo Sisters is another one um, so yeah all my tr yeah, so these are all my trophies. I got third in the world 600. That's the only bronze I have. I'm gonna go back and rectify that. But the World GT Series means I means I win the game. And these are all my these are all the various. and this is the final departure I'll let you guys watch this when I really finish the game um, extra menus Nissan Z 286 but since I'm in the post game I'm going to um, I want to do more of a drive in more of a drive and tune style thing so um, so my first, the first car, what I'll do is I'll drive it on a circuit that's more in tune with it. And I'm not gonna do this for any championships. I'm just gonna drive the car stock. So um, I wanna really drive this at Watkins Glen though. I'm gonna drive it on the short course. Fun fact, I might be going to Watkins Glen next June, so I'll have next June for the six hour race. Um, so yeah. So, um, so yeah, so I finished this game. Um, I finished this game about two weeks ago. Um, I finished the main story, so now we're on the kind of in the post game, sort of. So you guys can see all my great times that I've done. I just set that time yesterday.
is even a reminder in the cockpit to change up. possible. So that lap is 133, 135, so. Little trick with this car. Little trick with these vehicles. It's just to hit the e and handbrake and you'll You'll get the... Now he does have an advantage right here, but remember, I fishtail on a couple of these spots. So for those of you who don't know what the RX-7 is, the RX-7 has been around since the 1970s. Strange it's been around that long. Well, yeah, it's been around, well, the, well, the rotary engine's been around since the 1970s, so. Um, well, 1960, well, rotary, well, the Wankel engine, excuse me, has been around since the 40s. It had been around since the 30s and the 40s. It was, it was started by, by uh, Mr. Wankel, uh, back in a German engineer. It's funny how the it's funny how the Japanese took a German engine and turned it into their own creation. So, and this mod and these models and ones like it started in the late 70s, early 80s for us here in North America. Um, very cool cars um, for the R for the RX-7. The RX-7 started early out in their careers here. Um, they were very, very well known for their uh, handling, their high rev, their ability to rev very, very high. fuel economy not very good fuel economy not supposed to be um, but they uh, but they serve themselves well as um, drift cars because they cause you can hold them in the gears very long because they rev so high As 
you can see on sport tires, they are very, they can dance around quite a bit, so. This car. Um, I like it in this white. This Wimbledon white. Very controllable. model's body style started in 1993. Uh, and it went to our market till about 1990... till about 1997, I believe, and then they ended up canceling it and and it soldiered on well, because of emissions over here in America and because of the cost. This cost nearly $50,000 back in, back in the 1990s to complete with the Porsche 911. This isn't even tuned. Now, I could give this racing tires and give it the ability to do that, but I don't want to really tune it up today because I don't have enough money to do this so um so you know the RX-7 is known known to many known to many people all over the world um especially if you are into drifting um I'll, I'll just I'll just reiterate what I meant by that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a circuit that I know I can drift on. So I'm going to go to this. Now we could go, no, we couldn't do a raining, but it'd be a lot harder, but um, 
I like it during the day because it's not as easy. I will do it in the rain at some point. So this is going to be my new video series for Gran Turismo that I'm going to be um, that I'm going to be uploading on Tuesday um, this week, and it's just going to be an auto random automotive. So this is automotive uh, tests, tunings, and I'm going to end it with a final lap. Uh, with the final lap time um, so So I think my PlayStation Network is off at the moment, but I will um, try and upload a GTA video. Unfortunately, it did not do, did not upload it. So I'm going to have to obviously shut this down and re-upload that again. What time is it? 10:37. Um, Um...
So not too many street circuits in this series. Um, that's the one thing I'm not, I'm not a big fan of right here. Is uh, oh, that's rally? I don't want to try that. I do have a Group B car. Wolf Springs is more of a. It's more of a place for it's more of a place for a car like this. I'm gonna try to see what the top speed of this car is first. Time trial. Do it twilight. So yeah. Um sorry, I have to Yeah, I don't know what happened to my uh don't know what happened to my GTA uh my GTA thing. I'll have to upload that very, very soon. Um, Top speed of 170. See what it's once a lap time on a small circuit will do. Wagon's gun was 2.4 miles, 2.1. This 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 track's smaller than this. Um, So I'll show you some introductory things and stuff like that. So, um, what we'll do is I'll do five laps here, and then I'm gonna see what I can do about the upload to my uh, freaking my vlog series thing because I cannot not put out the vlog today. So. So five laps.
And that little handbrake truck to get the extra. Best time was 50 seconds. 50, 50, 50.1, so not bad. The slow slap here was the Fiat 500. And the Willys Jeep, the Willys Jeep, all done up was, was a 50 second lap. This is the fastest lap time of all time. The Living Legend was another one. So, this should put me over for that one. So yeah, um, so yeah, uh, let, me, let me go to the garage, claim that ticket, see what I get. Episode. 
home. So, hey guys, I'm going to end it there. Um, so, yeah, guys, in the next episode of this series, I'm going to, well, between episodes, I'm going to tune this up, and then I'm going to hopefully um, show you guys what this thing can really do with certain upgrades and stuff like that, because I feel like it's kind of the kind of the thing you, uh, these thing people are doing with this uh, car and stuff like this so um, so I'm gonna show you guys you know about my you know how I tune things and how things go so um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna do all that tuning on screen so so you guys don't miss any of that so um, but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i will be back for episode two hopefully uh next week maybe um so yeah guys i'll i'll see you guys then have a good day and thank you for watching gran turismo's uh the intro to my uh car of the car of the come car of this car of the um, I call, call the month now. Yeah, so what I'll be doing is I will be, um, is I will be tuning and showing a car for a month, um, during the year. So my car of the month will be, um, my car for the next 30 days will be this one. So, so yeah, guys, I will see you guys later in the next next episode so the episode so today is so today is Tuesday um, October 25th hope you guys enjoy your day um, I will definitely be and then the next episode will be Monday it will be Tuesday November I think it will be Tuesday, November 1st. Nope, yep, Tuesday, November 1st will be the next. And Tuesday, November 1st will be the will be the next one. So, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys later.